हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू सेलेनियम ऑफ ड्राइवर वीडियोस माय सेल्फ उदय इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू सेलेनियम ऑफ ड्राइवर यू कैन सेंड इन योर क्वेरीज टू माय मेल आईडी udayanam@gmail.com फॉर ऑर्डर लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर वीडियोस यू कैन वॉच माय ब्लॉग seleniumwebdrivervideos.blogspot.com एंड यू कैन वॉच ऑल माय वेब ड्राइवर वीडियोस एंड QTP वीडियोस इन माय YouTube चैनल In this video, I would like to demonstrate about what is Space Factory. In my previous two videos, I have explained you about what is Space Object Model and what is Space Factory, which we can use at an abstract level. In this video, I would mainly concentrating on how to use Space Factory with a, a specific locator. So let's get started and. Uh, you can watch my previous video where i have demonstrated about this all right so each and every object for uh, for example in order to enter some value username here uh, what i explained in my previous video is i took one of this property corresponding value username this i am i have to use as a variable name here i have declared a static variables with the corresponding name once we have all these variables are declared we can directly use that variable name in our test script you need not to include any of the locator name as you can see i just use this variable name and i have used the method but using this way has its own limitation where we need to completely rely on id or name property but we cannot use any other properties but in this video i would like to demonstrate about using page factories using uh, locators also all right so let's see how it will go so let me create a class called page factory all right so everything will be same but we will be specifying a locators for this so i am almost copying all the code which i have used in my previous example right so this is the code and we can specify the locator name by using a annotation called find by all right here we can use this annotation in two formats we can directly use the property and the corresponding name uh, corresponding value here as you can see i want to use the name locator and the corresponding value is this this is one way of using find by and the other way is other syntax we can say is like find by we can tell like how is equal to how dot as you can see all these are the different lo locator names i want to use the name locator and the corresponding value is you need to use the keyword to specify the value then the corresponding value is password i think yes so this is what the value so you can use this format or you can also use uh, the same thing with how and using keyword all right this is the shorter way of represent this so for this login also find by and uh, the name i'm using the name property and sorry name and the corresponding value is login once you have declared this you need not to use the same uh, like you know as i told in the previous video you need not to use the same names but you can use whatever the names that you want want to use it to the login underscore txt username and for password i can say txt password and this one is 
login underscore it is the button so you can specify button login all right once we have our web elements are ready here what we need to do is we need to change the class name of this all right we need to use these values here okay and this here and this here that's it so as what it will happen when we execute the script is whenever by using this statement selenium will make sure everything got initialized when you use this uh, variable name which will internally invoke a method like we have done in page object model which will create that method with this locator name and the corresponding value which will build an object that will return you a web element and which will execute whatever the method that we will give here so okay let me execute this and see how it will go i think let me cross check is everything fine we have used base factory class blah 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 since everything is fine let me execute it chrome instead started navigated to the url username password and clicked on sign in that's it that's how we use page factory but as i told you in my previous video page object model we have included everything the script and object identification in the same class that is not a good way of uh, writing an automation script right so we need to separate this and keep it in a separate file uh, so for that what we are doing is all this object identification we will create a separate package and we will keep them in a separate class file all right so what i can say login page factory objects okay so for this what we will do here is i am just copy paste this code so I will cut it and paste it here. Okay, and we need to have one web driver. This is driver, and also just make sure all of these are public because we will be accessing these variables and outside of this class. Okay, public, public. This is also public and this one is also public. Okay. Once done, we need to have a constructor. Public. The driver of driver. All right. And now, whatever the driver that we are getting, that we are assigning to this variable. So for that, this dot driver equal to this driver. All right, that's it. We have all this object initialization and everything is ready in here. All right. Now, what I want to do here is I want to use the objects which were there in this class. Right, so for that what I need to specify in init is I need to specify the class name. Import page object. Alright. And now which will make sure that all these objects got initialized. And then what we can do here is we can create an object of this okay say sorry objects login equal to new login once done you to pass this driver here 
so once this is done we can directly use this object to get all its methods as you can see which will show you all these methods so object whatever the uh, element that you want to use you can use that so login dot I want to use enter name all right so similar way just specify that method all right so uh, let me call it check if we have done any mistake here I think everything is clean now let me execute this code as you can see no object identifications are defined in this test case whereas all object identification and everything we kept in a separate file let me execute this Roman started enter username password and click on sign on that's it so this is where how we can use uh, page factory also as I told you in uh, my previous videos we need not to leave like this class is not just for object identification we can use any common methods and uh, but just make sure that you should not have any validation or verification points all right so we can also have a right methods like this public void login page what we will have is say login what we can do is string str username and string str password okay I am directly now I can directly use this here dot send keys username and uh, password dot send keys my password will come here and then click on login button dot click now we can call this method directly from here the advantage of writing like you know common routines in the class file itself is if there needs any modification we need to do it in a single place rather than updating in a multiple multiple places all right once you have this method you just invoke them that login of login so you can specify user sorry no dianam and the password this all right so let me execute this blah 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 that's it that's how we use space object model all right so uh, there is an another point which I need to mention here is for example say you have in on page where uh, one of the object you are referring multiple times or if you are using uh, any Ajax controls what will happen is okay first we will go with the normal uh, object all right whenever you are using this object here what it will do is page factory will look out for this object among the entire web page with the specified locator so by doing that way when you are now if you are using the uh, same object multiple times in the same place for example say you are have you are clicking on one object and you still remain in that page only again you need to click even though you click on it uh, you will be on the same page okay considering that situation uh, for example say I have some drop down box where I will be clicking on multiple times on that object what will happen in this this scenario is each time when you uh, access that variable which will look out for the same page uh, 
among all the object multiple times all right rather for the, though we are referring to the same object which will look out for all the objects with the specified locator all right so in order to work on that we have an another uh, like annotation called for example say we are using username multiple times in the same page right rather than look for the entire page once again we have a annotation called catch lookup all right so if you specify like this what will happen is rather selenium won't look for the entire web page one more time rather which will have its own cache and uh, that uh, uh, which will look in that cache rather than looking for the entire web page but just make sure we can't be, uh, better not to use cache lookup for each and every web element rather whatever the common object that we use multiple times on the same page just to use this tag all right that way which will increases the execution speed okay which will just look for that object from the cache memory than the entire web page all right so that's all in this video all right i think you might have a fair understanding of what is page factory by now all right thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel to get an updated content of selenium web driver if you like the content press uh, press the like button displayed at the bottom of this video thanks for watching this video